David, we have a new piece of yours called Garden Trio. Can you tell us a little bit about the the name and the and the movement titles? Yeah, um, this past summer was crazy. Um, <laughs> twenty twenty yeah. was a rough year, and yes. uh, everybody was remote. Everybody was in quarantine, and um, the prior year, I had asked one of my neighbors who lives down the street uh, if I could use her backyard as a garden. So I had been. I don't know where this came from, but for some reason, I, you know, I'm 41 years old. I suddenly decided to garden. So I got into permaculture and fertilizer, and it was a very kind of um, therapeutic thing for me. So mm -hmm. that was kind of my refuge. And so when Kim asked me to uh, write uh, this trio, um, I was inspired by, I said, well, what, what about that there's got to be some great poetry involving gardens. So I looked up these three poets, um, Madison, Julius um, K. Wynn, Victoria, Mary Slackbill West, and Adela Florence Nicholson. And I went through all these poems and I picked these three uh, women poets and I just really liked the imagery that they evoked. And uh, that kind of inspired the whole thing. And I think I finished the project in six weeks. So wow. each movement is based on one of one of their poems. Great. Um, was it? Uh, it's an unusual trio. Uh, obviously, it's it's based around uh, um, Kevin and Kim and Toby as a family unit. Uh, what was it like writing for oboe, viola, and bass? Well, that was the thing. She did say that I could do cello or bass and for some reason I, I picked cello but it just so happened that Toby could do it on bass so that was that worked out great English horn uh, I had never written for English horn I decided to go with it instead of oboe so um, I think this is one of the first pieces that I've written with English horn and there was a couple of things that needed to be uh, transposed but the overall it wasn't a big deal I, I played it for one of my students and there was some short articulations and he was telling me that don't write that for english horn they don't like doing short articulations <laughs> i said it's too late <laughs> but, uh, other than that you know i'm a violist and um those i think the viola really sings throughout the whole the, the whole piece 